Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and we're bringing you some tips and tricks. What we're playing is Last Titan Standing, so what we're going to go through is some gameplay tips and tricks here, guys. Right, so we're going to get into the gameplay now, guys. As you can see, we're loading up, and I'm actually using this. So you can see the setup and everything, guys. Now, what I wanted to do on this video is I didn't want to upload one of the best videos I've ever made on Titan, Last Titan Standing and stuff like that. I've not really played this game more very much, um, but I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on what to do, what not to do, things like that. And I'm also going to point out some of my mistakes that I do make within the game as well. Um, but you'll also see me going on rampages as well, basically taking out those titans big time mode. So you can see all my, uh, all the other titans on the team, they're actually on the right hand side. What I'm doing is I'm flanking round. Uh, what this enables you to do is to get titans boxed in. As you can see, I can see my titan there. And I can see this titan here. I'm just going to come up close to him, nice and boxed in. There you go, titan one. Sat down. How quick was that, guys? We've got another Titan to this left hand side. He knows I'm here, but I've got the up on him. So he's using his particle wall. What you do want to do, if they're using the particle wall, you don't want to challenge him. Um, you can actually go straight through the particle wall, but it's going to protect him as long as you're behind it. But it's one of those things, particle wall, it's highly overrated, it's not very useful. Um, it's only useful if people don't know how to get around it. So you can see I'm actually backing up from this guy a lot. Um, as soon as he gets into the doom mode, that's where you want to get rush into him. And you want to do your titan punch just to kill off the pilot. Because you do not want the pilots escaping. The pilots escape, they'll go high, they'll go on roofs. And they'll use things like your charge rifles against you and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm just on the hunt again. Challenge completed, 5,000. Uh, this Titan's been hit, so I'm actually going to disembark here. And you can see that human player rodeoing me at the moment. Now, if you are rodeo attacked, you do have to disembark and hopefully take him out. Don't know where he went. Look around, there he is. Oh, Titan behind me takes me out. So there we go, guys, taking out two Titans in that round. We're moving on to round two now, guys. Okay, you can see me pretty much messing about with the uh, score and stuff like that. I've got a lot of challenges to do, that's why I'm using the quad rockets in this one. Um, but I've actually switched my weapon up. What you want to do in the gameplay, guys, you never want to stick with just the one weapon. You do want to keep them thinking. For example, I was using Vortex Shield this time. I'm using the 40mm cannon, which is insane damage. Recently in the patch, just for your information, this has been nerfed a little bit, so it won't do as much damage as it normally does um, but it won't affect it too much guys so yeah you still if you know how to aim you're pretty much going to do the same damage that you were doing originally anyway okay so I'm using the same tactic as you can see I'm boxing in two titans and I'm actually using the smoke now the smoke in places like this what it allows you to do is give yourself a bit of cover when you've got the particle walls up but it stops them from rushing into you because that is going to take their shields down if they do and it's also going to deal a lot of damage as long as they're in the smoke the longer they're in the smoke the more damage you'll do you can see I've just flanked around the other side here and I'm just taking a random damage against these two I've got the drop on them because they're all the way up there and you can see I've taken on that Titan there ok, Titan number 2 damage bar increased, I've used my smoke to gain this cover as you can see I've hardly took any damage here whatsoever and there's all my free titans. So my free titans are over the right hand side. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to counter that and go to the left hand side. But I notice the two arrows where the titans is. I'm going to get them boxed in from the flank. And there we go. Titan number three. So guys, this tactic is very effective when you're playing. I've got a rodeo on there. That's why I'm using that smoke prematurely. And I'm actually going to back off from this area because chances are that pilot's going to come straight from my titan to try and rodeo me again because he knows I've used that. And you can see here, there we go, we take out the pilot. So that's how to effectively take out a rodeo pilot. And it's just basically, don't be stupid, don't stand in the space where they can easily jump on you. You can see I've actually got the smoke out at the minute. <coughs> 
Okay, uh, and there you go. There's another human there, as I expected. And that's why you want to pay attention to your minimap, guys. You can see five kills, one, three, and zero. Okay, so we're now moving into round three. As you can see guys, these uh, tactics do work very, very good. Uh, it's all about team play and stuff like that. Um, even though the Titans are all going at once, it's not always the best idea for all the Titans to go all at once. The only thing is when you do what I'm doing, you do run the risk of being flanked by two Titans, for example, myself. As you can see here, I'm taking a lot of damage, so this is my mistake. I'm actually backing up, I can see one of my uh, friendly Titans though. So I'm going to use him as a bit of backup. Um, we can see there's a Titan right in front of him. Um, we've got another Titan helping to attack now. Two Titans on two at the left hand side. Um, yeah, I'm going to help him out on the left hand side to try and get some running damage in the air. We've got the particle wall up, but I'm going to keep shooting that particle wall because eventually it will run out. And there we go. Titan down, okay, we're on to the next Titan, we've got a lot of Titans aiming at that one. Now, I'm actually moving back here just to take out this guy as well. See, damage power increased, and I'm going to try and back off him a little bit, use this one, and get the hit from the other side, so that's one of my mistakes, you can see I actually got flat myself there, guys. Into my stealth mode, and this is the mistake you don't really want to challenge your Titan as much as this. You can see I'm rodeo at the moment. I know he's disembarked, as you can see. He's gonna end up, he's actually on the floor at the moment. There's a reason I'm not aiming for him. And we're gonna get straight back on that rodeo, guys. Sorry about the little sticking in this gameplay. Um, yeah, it didn't record the best, but. Uh, it doesn't last very long, so just bear with me a minute. And there we go, we get a round loss, but you can see 6 1 3 1, so I'm on a good little streak at the minute. Alright, now we're moving into round 4. And here we go, guys. Are you ready for this? Da -da 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 Violet, battle projections aren't looking too good for us. We gotta catch up and turn this fight around like now. Okay, so you can see this is one of the things that you don't want. You don't want all of your titans to be split on two different sides of the map. I know there's a Titan over there, but we're not just being a little bit cautious here. I'm actually playing with the public guys, so there's no communication in this. It's just general teamwork, so you can use this effectively in public matches. Now, rather than challenge that guy there, I'm going to go right behind this guy. He's got a flank attack to those red markers on his body. That's what we want to be able to call. That's what we want to hit. That's what we want to hit. So, okay, that's why I use my small there, guys, because that's going to deal with many damage to them. And I can see this Titan trying to flank around as well. I'm so going inside here. And oh, damage on that one. There you go, take that one out. Another Titan hits again. Unfortunately, my health is a little bit low now. I did take a bit of heavy damage there, but I've got my shield back up, so that's pretty cool. I can do a lot of damage to this guy before he manages to take me out. See, that's two. I just killed the gun in the back. Accidentally crush, but yeah, I'll take any kill. There we go. Always aim for the one that's on the lower health, guys. That's what you want to do to target them first. Don't target the ones on big health. Take them out later, don't worry nice about them. And you can see I just spanked Chris's legend. In the face, boy! Right, round five. Now, a lot of people sort of like have the 
urge to do the auto eject which automatically stealth you. That is actually very useful, it stops people shooting near mid air and stuff like that. So yeah, just just be wary of that as well. You can see I'm already up the attack to choose the particle wall, so we're gonna use the spawn to get the hell out of there. So that particle wall is gonna be up on me and I'm gonna plant this guy here. Tactics work. So one tactic is straight past me and deal with it. Then the scammers are now taking a bit of damage himself. So I'm just gonna fall back a little bit and back myself into a corner. And this is one of the mistakes you don't want to be in the corner that you can kind of get away from. But this guy hopefully just ends up strolling past me, so yeah, we'll take him out of the reason. I didn't the small cut in it because I want my shields to go back up, but unfortunately this guy is up challenging and But, yeah, that's why the auto project is pretty useful, so they can't get some attack and punish. That's the reason for that guy's my score that I recommend it. So we're actually going through the mistakes at the minute this time. We could have made it a flawless gameplay, guys, but this one I uploaded because I wanted to show you two different sides to the story and how you can get taken out and two different sorts of scenarios about it as well. Unfortunately on my screen it is skipping a little bit in this gameplay so this is probably one of the worst recorded ones but um, it doesn't last for long and you can tell the 3 for 2 at the minute guys. I am playing solo so this match um, is basically all about teamwork and unfortunately our teamwork doesn't seem to be the best because I'm not with the best players to be honest with you but they're pretty decent they seem to know what they're doing there or their amounts but obviously they're not as smart as what I'm playing like at the minute now I make a dumb move here I see the two red arrows there and my titan over here so I come to challenge them and then I see four red markers so all of the titans are over here so as soon as I challenge this, I've got two on my situation. My shield is nearly depleted already. So I've took some big hits then. That's why I've just backed up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get to a safe area, as in security area, with more Titans on our team available. See this guy has the rockets on straight away. I have some rockets back straight away. And there you go, the shield's back up. Okay, so it's all about survival tactics, you want to deal damage over time, if you can get the kill straight away and you can deal the damage, do it, but it's better to take off half a titan's health and keep your full health, that way if you want to get the titan's and stuff like that, so again, I'm just backing away, getting that shield back up, because as soon as your shield's down, you're just going to take big damage. You can see Chris is legend here, he's got the his shield. I'm always just got red on the his shield. I'm fine, he's got his back at him. He's a small piece of the cover. Back it up, back it up, back it up. And get the shield back up again. Now, you can see what I'm doing here is quite smart because I'm keeping it at range distance with the weapon that he's using. I do get struck on the tree though, unfortunately. Um, oh, I ended up playing Titan Punch. That was a mistake. I got struck on the tree and I allowed it to get quite close to me. I was using the subscriber to go down and drop it. Coming to the end of the round, I'm just going to show you the gameplay from the perspective of other players, how they're playing at the minute. Now, you're going to see exactly one mistake these two guys make. Um, it does cost us this round. Obviously, we're all dead, so we can't help them or anything like that. But you're going to see this exactly. So you've got Titan number one right here, and then Titan number two, that Moose is male. Moose is male and Salato. This is a very bad move to make because they're allowing themselves to get boxed in, guys. Um, as you can see, very, very short left here we go. Uh, sorry about the stick in the video again, I can't really apologise for that. Uh, that guy's got the part of the wall, he's going to have to do damage to him. This guy's got a shot in the back, he's not turning around, he's got two tanks behind him. That is an effective flank, guys, so they deserve the win. Synergy out!